Hey, I'm Billy. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Um, yes. Razor Rock Mamba 70. New razor for me. Uh, stainless steel head. CNC milled. So it should be very precise. I mean, I've washed this off. That's all I've done with it so far. Um, I bought the handle that was designed to go with it, which is uh, supposed to be like titanium rod. Um, well, I'll show you the balance in a second after I put a blade in. Um, this is probably one of my first razors that does this. The posts are actually on the base plate, not on the... Good thing that's stainless steel. Holy crap. Um, not on the top cap. That's going to sound great in the video. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put a fresh Lord Platinum Blade in there. I think what I'm going to do for the next several videos, I'm going to use this razor with a succession of uh, succeedingly sharper blades and see how this works. Because the reviews I've read say that this is a very mild razor with neutral blade exposure. So you put the blade on the, sorry, put the blade on the base cap because, the sorry, base cap, the base plate because the posts are there. And then you put the top cap on, right? It's a bit awkward. Um, I'm not sure why it's that way. Anyway, um, let's put this guy on. All right. So where's the balance point? It's about there. So according to Razor Rock, this handle was designed for this head and the balance point's supposedly perfect. And I'd say, you know what? That's, that's where I'd like to balance it to. And, and that's about where I, I will probably tend to hold it. Um, maybe someplace like that, right? Um, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, the tolerances look, I don't know how much you can see that, but everything's very tight. Um, I guess I'll find out as I shave. Um, oh, what have I got on my face? So I'm going to be using um, PAA or Phoenix Shaving Shave Chaser today, um, which is in their Kokum, Kokum Butter uh, CK, CK1 base. Anyway. Because it's a very soft soap, I just got to touch it a little bit on my finger and with some water just spread it on my face. That's kind of a pre-shave. <laughs> it's very slick. Um, to wash that off well. Okay, so towel. Um, yeah, this is Shave Chaser. Okay, so it's a very, very soft soap. I'm going to use my Omega brush. God, what's up with me today? This soap is too dang slick. Um, all right, so Omega bore brush. Get a little bit. Doesn't take much because the soap is very soft. All right, and remember, there's a there's a little bit of a layer there already, and, and I've had that on my face for probably about five minutes. Oh, I just got a haircut yesterday, finally. I've been saying it for days and finally went and did it. Um, And I'm going to try not to spend all <laughs> five, ten minutes building up a leather. I don't need it to be perfect. You know, I would like it to be very slick. I would like it to be somewhat protective, cushiony, what have you. Um, but I'm also not going to go for, I'm not going to spend the time it takes to generate the perfect lather. But 
but I'm also, probably also not going to do it as fast as um, Geo Fatboy would do it either. That's starting to look good enough to me. This board brush is well broken in. That seems good enough to me. All right. Resist the urge to say, <laughs> well, I'm going to say it, as Geo Fatboy would, clear the runways. <laughs> um, he's still kind of one of the most entertaining shavers to watch. And I say that as someone that makes YouTube shaving videos. Um, anyway, so Razor Rock Mamba 70, first use, fresh Lord Platinum Blade. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That feels really good. So, why did I pick the Mamba? A lot of people would have gone with the with the game changer. Um, I don't know. I did a bunch of, I read a bunch of reviews of both. And generally speaking, the people that have those razors tend to love them. But what I noticed with the re reviews for the Mamba a lot of them specifically said something like, I like this more than the game changer. I had the I had the game changer and I switched to this. Right? And then also for the game changer, I'm sorry, for the Mamba 70, a lot of people said, I had the Mamba 53, I upgraded to this. So that made it seem like Mamba 70 was the way to go. And so far, it does feel like a very nice shave. Do I feel the blade? A tiny bit. But, yeah. That felt good. It was nice. It feels good in my hand. Um, easy to use. There's a little bit of blade feel. Just enough. Right? Well, and those were good results for a first pass, I would say. This pass, I'm going to try doing, uh, I think I'm going to try doing just two passes. Yeah, just two passes. And this one, I'm going to go straight to all against the grain. Let's see what happens. Which means I'll be going sideways on my neck. Oh, 
if you don't know, Shave Chaser, Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix, Phoenix Shaving, Shave Chaser, smells basically like skin bracer, aftershave, and I, skin brace is pretty much my favorite aftershave, has been forever, um, even from when I was a kid, and my impressions of skin bracer may have, oh, <laughs> this is the power of advertising. TV ads I saw as, TV commercials I saw as a child with people using Skin Bracer and slapping themselves in the face and look, feeling so refreshed afterwards. I can't tell if I like Skin Bracer because of the way it smells or because of those commercials. That's the power of advertising. You're talking like 45, 50 years ago that I saw them. Okay, 45. Couldn't have been. It's not like I would have been three years old watching TV and really remembering anything, but um, 45, yeah, I can believe. Okay, so uh, let's go across the grain. Against the grain, sorry, against. I'm going against. Very nice. Now, I'm using a Lord Platinum, which means I'm not certain this is going to be a super clean pass. I mean, I expect Lord Blades to be very smooth. But I don't necessarily, uh, you know, think it's the best blade around in terms of sharpness and, you know, all that. Now, that was pretty comfortable. Um, hmm. Let's see how it feels on this side. This is the side I tend to have more trouble with, I think, with going across on my neck. That's not bad. I feel it. But I didn't have to stop. It wasn't painful. I did get some weepers over here though. So. What does that tell me? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't formed a conclusion yet. I don't think that would have happened if I was using my Overlander. I'm going to have to do a good comparison between this and the Overlander. All right, so more reasons why I bought the Mamba. All right, so I've already kind of said why I bought the 70 instead of the 53 and why I bought the Mamba instead of the Game Changer. Now, in terms of stainless steel razors, why did I get this instead of a Rockwell 6S, I think is the one everybody keeps recommending to me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of a contrarian though. Um, Yeah, I think I've kind of been that way my whole life. Um, I tend to take my own path a lot of times. And if too many people recommend one thing to me, the more likely, it seems like the more likely I am to do something else.
virtually no one has ever recommended the Mamba to me. <laughs> that right away made it interesting. Okay, so, um, what I can say is this, this razor, so far, this razor seems very smooth and pretty mild, doesn't have a ton of blade feel, so I'm guessing the exposure, blade exposure, it, well, I think I read that it's supposed to be neutral blade exposure, it feels like that, but the blade gap is also 70. Um, I don't know if you can see what that looks like here, but there's a decent amount of blade exposure there. Like I can see, I can see plenty of blade. Um, so maybe... So my thinking was this, and that's, that's kind of what I expected, and, 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 I, and I actually like that fact. So what I was thinking is that, right, I have the Henson Mild. I love it. It's a great, for me, that razor seems to work best when I don't have a ton of stubble. The Carve Overlander is a step up from when I, for me, the, the way I think about it, I would use the Overlander when I don't think the Henderson will be enough. The Henson Mild. And right now, the way I'm thinking, that's very smooth. Um, the way I'm thinking right now, ooh, a lot of little weepers there. Um, so this is a little more aggressive, even though it's neutral exposure. Um, everywhere else. All right, with that little touch up on my cheeks, everything feels perfect. Really good. So what was I saying? Yes. So in terms of, let me grab them. So I'm thinking mild, mild, shave day, Henson, mild. Fairly mild shave day to, you know, perhaps extra growth, carb overlander. More growth. Mamba 70. I think that would be kind of the ideal usage of these for me. However, I'm probably, <laughs> unless, unless it's a really heavy growth, right, I would probably go for this for sure. If it's like less than a day, I'd probably go for this. But on, on any average day, since I tend to shave every day, day and a half, I'll probably just mix and match randomly. Um, just that's kind of how I am. Um, like I'll think, oh, I haven't used the mom in a while. Let me drag that out. Even I have, even if I have barely any growth. Um, let's see. Yeah. Anyway, I do like the Shave Chaser a lot. And that's the CK1 version. Um, so the, the less expensive version, right? Uh, there was no way I was going to pay the premium for CK6 base from Phoenix Shaving. Um, and this was kind of an experiment because I, I, it's my first uh, Shave Chasers, my first soap from Phoenix. And I was not going to start off with a CK6, right? Like, let's just try this. I, the reviews on CK1 are great. 
Let's see if it's good enough. If it is, I'll never have to pay the premium for suitcases. And I'd say, yeah, I think I'm probably, unless I can find something on sale one day, I will not go out and buy the CK6 formula. Not too stingy there. I expected more stinging. So I've got a bunch of blades laid out to use the rest of the week, right? And I think I was going to go up in aggression to see, you know, where do I stop? Now I might ha not have these in the exact, you know, in the correct order, but for me, the Lord Platinum was the, was the baseline which I know it's smooth and it's pretty sharp, but it's not the sharpest. Next, I'll try the Astra Superior Platinum. And then I'll go with, what is this? Uh, this is probably, what the hell? I think this is a King C Gillette blade, which I believe is the same as Gillette Platinum. Um, is it Gillette Platinum? Anyway, that would be next. And then, uh, one of my overall favorite blades is probably Gillette 7 O'Clock Super Stainless. And a Dorco Prime Platinum. And I think, I don't know, I can't remember what that is. Maybe it's a Permasharp. Anyway, I don't know if that's the exact correct order, but I'll try all those with this razor. So the next few shaves, you're going to see a lot of the Mamba 70. Overall, though, I'd say that's a good shave. I, it's, uh, I'd, I'd also say, though, it's probably not for the Mamba 70. is probably not good for absolute beginners. Um, right? I would probably say go with the Henson Miles first. Maybe the Carb Overlander. Not the Mamba 70. For an absolute beginner. Um, all right. Oh, cold water. Yeah, rinsed well. Time for skin bracer. All right. Feels great. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, like it, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.